Welcome dear audience, students and scholars here from Dr. Ramjad Ali. In this video, we are going to discuss about interest rate differentials, the Mundell Fleming model. Dear scholars, so far our analysis has assumed that the interest rate in a small open economy is equal to the world interest rate that is R is equal to R steady. To some extent, however, interest rates differ around the world. We know extent our analysis by considering the causes and effects of international interest rate differential. So let's discuss first the country risk and exchange rate expectations. Okay, when we assume earlier that interest rate in our small open economy is determined by the world interest rate, we were applying the law of one price. We reasoned that if the domestic interest rate were above the world interest rate, people from abroad would lend to that country, driving the domestic interest rate down. And if the domestic interest rate were below the world interest rate, domestic residents would lend abroad to earn a higher return, driving the domestic interest rate up to the end the domestic interest rate would equal the world interest rate. Here we have one of the main question that why does not this logic always apply? There are two reasons for that. One reason is country risk when investors buy US government bonds or make loans to US corporations, they are fairly confident that they will be repaid with interest. By contrast, in some less developed countries, it is possible to fear that a revolution or other political upheaval might lead to a default on loan repayments. Borrowers in such countries often have to pay higher interest rates to compensate lenders for this risk. Another reason interest rates differ across countries expected changes in the exchange rate. For example, suppose that people expect the Mexican peso to fall in value relative to US dollar, then dollar loans made in pesos will be repaid in a less valuable currency than loans made in dollars. To compensate for this expected fall in the Mexican currency, the interest rate in Mexico will be higher than the interest rate in the United States. Thus, because of both country risk and expectations of future exchange rates um, changes, the interest rate of a small open economy can differ from interest rates in other economies around the world. Let's now see how this fact uh, affects our model here. Differentials in the Mundell Fleming model. Okay, to incorporate interest rate differentials in the Mundell Fleming model, we assume that the interest rate in our small open economy model is determined by the world interest rate plus a risk premium theta. So we have here R is equal to R steric plus theta. The risk premium is determined by the perceived political risk of making loans in a country and the expected change in the real exchange rate. For our purposes here, we can take the risk premium as exogenous in order to examine how changes in the risk premium affect the economy. The model is largely the same as before we have discussed in our uh, previous video. The two equations are here. Uh, we have IS steric equation that is y is equal to c into y minus t plus i r steric plus theta plus g plus nx 
E. And we have the elapsteric equation that is m over p is equal to L r static plus theta y. Here we have included uh, theta with r static. So for any given fiscal policy or monetary policy price level and risk premium, these two equations determine the level of income and exchange rate that equilibrate the goods market and the money market holding constant the risk premium the tools of monetary policy and trade policy work as we have already uh, discussed in our previous video so no suppose uh, that political turmoil uh, causes uh, the country's risk premium theta to rise because r is equal to r static plus theta the most direct effect is that the domestic interest rate r rises the higher interest rate in turn has two effects the first i a static curve shift to the left because the higher interest rate reduces investment Second, the LM static curve shift to the right because the higher interest rate reduces the demand for money and this allows a higher level of income for any given money supply. Okay, while talking about the differentials in the Mundell Fleming model, this analysis has an important implications expectations about the exchange rate are partially self-fulfilling for example suppose that people come to believe that the mexican peso will not be valuable in the future investors will place a larger risk premium uh, on mexican assets theta will rise in mexico this expectation will drive up Mexican interest rate and as we have just seen will drive down the value of the Mexican currency. Thus the expectations uh, that a currency will lose value in the future causes it to lose value today. So let's see a graphical presentation for that. Here, an increase in the risk premium. We have income output Y on X axis. We have exchange rate E on Y axis. We have a vertical LM1 static. And we have a downward sloping IS static 1 here. And we know that the intersection of IS and LM will decide the equilibrium exchange rate and national income of the economy so we have here that exchange rate with that level of national income so here uh, when an increase in the risk premium uh, drives up the interest rate the is curve will shift to the left so we have a downward is static 2 here okay this will uh, also shift the LM static curve to the right word and we have LM2 static here this will depreciate the currency and we have a lower exchange rate at this point with a rise in national income okay an increase in the risk premium associated uh, with a country uh, drives up its uh, interest rate because a higher interest rate reduces investment. This will uh, uh, re this will shift the IS uh, static one to IS static two to the leftward because it also reduces money demand and our LM one static shift to the LM2 static and income rises 
from this point to this point but we have a depreciation in the currency with lower exchange rate so one surprising and perhaps inaccurate prediction of this analysis is that an increase in country risk as measured by theta will cause the economy's income to increase this occur we have here from this point to this point because we have a rightward shift in the lm curve although high interest rates uh, depress investment the depreciation of the currency stimulates a net exports of uh, uh, of the country by an even greater amount as a result uh, aggregate uh, income rises from this point to this point okay while talking about the differentials in the mandel fleming model uh, here uh, there are three reasons why in practice such a boom in income does not occur okay for the central bank might want to avoid the large uh, depreciation of the domestic currency and therefore may respond by decreasing the money supply m second the depreciation of the domestic currency may suddenly increase the price of uh, imported goods causing an increase in the price level p third when some even increases the country risk premium theta residents of the country might respond to the same even by increasing their demand for money for any given income and interest rate because money is often the safest asset available all three of these changes would tend to shift the lm steri curve to the leftward which uh, mitigates the fall in the exchange rates but also tends to depress the income thus increases in country risks are uh, not desirable in short run they typically uh, lead to a uh, depreciating the currency and through the three channel just described here falling aggregate income in addition um, because a high interest rate reduces investment the long run implication uh, is reduced uh, capital accumulation and a lower economic growth so this is all about interest rate uh, differentials and the mandel fleming model so see you with another video ciao